Hey Summit, this is Edward. This is Jake. This is your weekly update. Make sure you share this on all your platforms. Uh, got a lot going on, yeah. Jake. Uh, there's uh, stuff going on this weekend. Uh, if you're watching this on Sunday morning, then you missed everything. You missed everything, everything on the weekend. Missed. But uh, uh, just real quick, Jake. Starting Friday night, we have Disciple Now for ages six through twelfth grade. Uh, registration for that, if you've already signed up, will be at six p.m. at Hollybrook Baptist Church. You may be asking why Hollybrook. It's a joint event. It is a joint event between Hollybrook Baptist. Calvary Baptist in Gladewater and Summit Heights Fellowship. So we're kind of going to be at both places, that uh, Hollybrook and at Summit. Yeah. Uh, we will start there at uh, Hollybrook and we'll start our worship service later that evening here at Summit Heights, but registration will be at 6 p.m. On Friday night, students need to bring um, sleeping bags, pillows, all that good stuff yeah. to sleep because they're going to be sleeping at people's houses. Should have uh, a packing list, right? Yes, I believe yeah, so. All that information uh, on it. Should have all that done for them tonight at uh, uh, on Wednesday night. So we'll have all that for you if uh, you're getting this information on Sunday morning. Sorry, you, you missed it, and so uh, sorry. We've been talking about it for two, two or three months. Uh, it feels like yeah, a year, two or three uh, months. A year. Biggest old. student event that we host for students. Biggest event of the year. Yeah, that we yeah. host. That we uh, host. Ab abso yeah. Absolutely. So I'm really excited about what guys doing in our student ministry right now. I got a great group of adults. If you're still praying or thinking or maybe have thought about uh, being a part of our student ministry, would love to visit with you. You can uh, holler at me during the week at the office and an email. Hey, can we stand up on Sunday morning and holler at you uh, while you're preaching? Some people do. Uh, it's happened before. Yeah. It's happened before. So. Uh, I Exactly. So, hey, we're excited about Sunday. It's going to be a great Sunday. It's going to be a great weekend. A lot of life change uh, happening uh, with our student ministry. Uh, this is Pivotal Weekend. Uh, so it Pivot! Is, it's going to be good. It's going to be yeah. good. I saw that episode, by the way. Pivot! Uh, friends. Yeah. What is it? What's bro? Hey, not this Sunday, but the 25th, Intro to Summit, formerly known as Membership. Got two cup or a couple, I've got three people pre-registered for it. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, if you're interested in finding out who we are, all we do in that hour after church is we go over who we are as a church, what are our statements, what is our strategy, and what is our structure, and what does it look like to get plugged into Summit Heights Fellowship. Very informative, answers a lot of questions. Reach out to me, Jake, at summitheightsfellowship.com or take a communication card on Sunday and put on there that you want to register for Intro to Summit, formerly known as Membership. In fact, on the communication card, it still says Membership, so just check that box and I'll know what you're talking about. That's cool. And, and also there's small group meeting after church, kind of a new small group. There is. So there's and, one small group that meets after church immediately after church in this back room back here in the hallway. I, it, 101. 101, I can show you where it is. It is a group that is wide open. They want to meet new people. They want to reach people that have been visiting our church that haven't gotten plugged in yet. And so if that's you, you've been visiting or you've never gotten plugged into a small group and you want to kind of, you know, like when you go swimming in early spring and the water is just really cold, cold so you just kind of dip your ankle yeah, in yeah, first. Yeah. You just want to dip your ankle into what small groups is. Go Join those folks after church. If you go all the way to your ankle, that's your whole foot. That's cold. It's so cold. I would yeah. probably just do it like a toe. Okay. Well, we can do that. Yeah, too. Is that cold? I don't. We can do that water. too. All my yeah. foot in there. They're ready for you. They want you. They want to meet you. They want to get you plugged in. Um, as far as their material goes, they just have open discussion on whatever was preached that Sunday. Yeah, so it should be fresh coming right Fre out. It is fresh, yeah. Uh, big time. I like it. I was a part of, of one like that for a while. It's really cool. I, you know, there's something interesting, Jake. This last um, Tuesday, we gathered for our Authentic Men yeah. on Tuesday morning. Had a great group, six tables. All the tables were full. Uh, these men are hearing stories. But the thing I, I loved is, is, one, the story was really good this yeah. last week. But... 
I don't know if you noticed afterwards is the men uh, broke down all the tables and then set up the chairs for the for ladies. ladies that meet on Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Yeah. And man, I, I, I love that. Yeah. I think that's so cool to see serving each other yeah. and how that happens. Kind of like that controversial Super Bowl commercial, washing people's feet. Yeah, uh, for sure. I, I was thinking about a lot of that, you know, watching what happened Tuesday morning read some of that this morning, trying to not jump in the middle of that too much. I don't jump into the middle uh, of anything, man. But you know, it's interesting you bring that up because I was reading this morning, you've already seen, I posted on yeah. X or Twitter, whatever it's I called. I still call it Twitter. I do too. Uh, I was reading this morning and it, it kind of goes with what we talked about last week in our message on Second John. We'll be in Third John a week from Sunday, not this Sunday, uh, but in Second John, where John was just taking us back to the basics, taking us back to loving God and loving right. people and serving and washing feet. Uh, and uh, one of the statements I read this morning, because I think a lot of people and you may find yourself here as well. You watch the news, you see what's happening. We, we saw what happened in Houston last week um, with all the things that are going on. And it's so easy, Jake, to get um, distracted or to get fearful or to get um, off course in our walk with God. And I read this this morning, but it was so applicable. It came from my friend, Chad, who spoke this last week in his book, Limping with God. He said, we live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Not every sight, listen to this, not every sight that promenades before our eyes. What God says, not what we see. That is how we live and move and have our hope. I like it. And dude, that's, that's so true. I and like it. The world we live in today, because we're, we're given so much information with yeah. the internet and yeah. uh, news and 24 hour news cycles. And then you got the Christian news cycles and then you got the other news cycles. Right. And, and if you consume all of that, it's going to mess you up. Uh, and we live by the word of God, uh, the words that come from him, not by what we see. We live by the very word of God that comes from his mouth. So I encourage you that uh, if you're watching this during the week or you're watching this on Sunday morning, we're going to be worshiping together in a few minutes. It is Disciple Now weekend. We're going to have music from the weekend and the, the uh, Disciple Now speakers here. But uh, remember who you are. You're not driven by sight. You're driven by the word of God. And um, I think that's why Jesus said, fear not so many times. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a reason to fear. And yeah, the world's jacked up. Uh, that, that other statement I said is God, God is accustomed to working with sinners because that's the only material he has. Oh, I and, like it. And I'm a sinner. Love and, it. Uh, people who think they're not sinners, uh, I think John said we're liars and yeah. uh, we, we don't know ourselves. the truth. We don't know the truth. So uh, let that be an encouragement to you. Uh, share this on your platforms. Share this on what's going on uh, wherever you are. Uh, quote that. Write that down. Put it on your mirror. Uh, remember that. Um, as you go through your week this week. So a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, I've got early Easter this year. It's coming up in March. Uh, excited about that uh, to celebrate. We got spring break coming up for our kids and the local schools and uh, still got basketball playoffs. We got baseball starting, got track, track starting. Uh, if you're a parent, man, I am praying for you. Uh, a lot going on and an exciting game this week on senior night. Uh, Big Sandy and Hawkins. That was kind of fun to see that. And, uh, just exciting. A lot of stuff happening. So go and be salt, be light. Uh, invite somebody to be with us this Sunday at church. Uh, it's going to be a good nine, Sunday. Nine minutes. What's nine minutes? We, we went nine minutes. That's okay. That's okay. Some of we love you. We're going to start worship in five minutes. You got anything else? No. Five minutes. Worship starts. Thank you.